Let's go see if we can teach that Velociraptor a fat lesson. There he is, there he is, there he is. Wow, he took off with a huge burst of speed. Right there, that, that's the head right there. All right, let's go get our catch ball. There's a tegu. That's the lizard. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh no, he's not done. He's not done. He just woke up out of slumber and he hasn't yet had breakfast. So he's a little lethargic, but I think we just gave him a nice wake up call. Come here, buddy. Comment down below. Do you think he's a beauty or do you think he's a beast? Hi guys, how's it going? It's the Iguana Man. And today we are gonna be trying to hunt really big iguanas out here in South Florida. Guys, yesterday was a massive thunderstorm. So we are projecting that a lot of giant iguanas are out right now due to the fact that they were in their burrows during the storm. As you guys can see, it is a beautiful, bright, sunny day here in Florida. And we're doing a removal job on a golf course. Oh, wow. Let's, let's take a better look. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Now, what I realized though, iguanas like Broward County. Why? Look at this place, guys. It's like Disney World for them. They got nice manicured lawns, beautiful bodies of water, lots of lush trees and vegetation. And people out here are pretty much scared of them. But we've been hired to remove as many iguanas as we can off this premises. But it's a big job. There's a lot of iguanas. So we might have to call some buddies in a little bit, but I actually see a couple right there. Let's go see if we can teach them a fat lesson, iguana man style, yeah. An absolute titan of an iguana. We gotta be careful because these iguanas are super feisty, strong, and they can deliver a very painful bite. But let's observe him real quick. I think he's out trying to, trying to be social. They just mowed the lawn, look at the grass. They just cut the grass so it's fresh food for them. It's like a salad bar. Right now he's just dazed and confused. He just woke up out of slumber and he hasn't yet had breakfast. So he's a little lethargic, but I think we just gave him a nice wake up call. Come here, buddy. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. He's asserting his dominance with his tail. Oh, yes. Yes, come here, buddy. Ooh, wow. Look at that, guys. This is a great way to start the removal. Giant alpha male, look at this guy. This is a big boy, he's about 10 pounds. And if we just got him on our first attempt, just imagine the monsters lurking in this area. Wow, look at him, Look, just take a better look at him. Check him out. Look at his eyeballs, just yellow like a, like he's like Godzilla's baby cousin or something. Let's just see the length of him. He's about the same length as me, y'all. It's a giant iguana. Ooh. And he's very well behaved for a giant lizard. He hasn't tried to bite me. He's just very calm. What a beauty. Crikey, mate. Let's get him in the bag. Well, that was a big lizard. Comment down below if you guys ever caught an iguana. And if you did, what's the biggest one you ever caught? Let's infiltrate the nest. Oh my gosh. Guys, we're just on one little canal at this spot. Look at this place. So many of these giant lizards. We want to go for that big red alpha. We'll go for him later. He's so beautiful. Come here, buddy. Got the snare around him. I don't know how he's going to react, honestly. Let's let him walk. Let's let him figure out. I'm kind of nervous, honestly, because this is going to be a pretty big fight. But I think it's time we got to teach him a lesson. Come here, buddy. There he is. There he is. Just come here, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Big iguana death roll. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh, we just awoken the dragon. This is where a lot of dangerous stuff happens. Let's go right behind the shoulder. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Wow. This is a big red alpha iguana. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Talk about a beauty. Comment down below. Do you think he's a beauty or do you think he's a beast? What an amazing specimen, y'all. Holy smokes. Guys, seems like we got our second giant iguana in the bag. So, yeah, usually they, they, are, they usually are trying to bite like crazy, but this guy, for some reason, I don't know if he just woke up or what, but he's... He's real calm. He's pretty calm, yeah. He's calm. He's pretty calm. It's a big, big one. So just remember, the channel is called Iguana Man. You can check it out. Check it out. And I teach you guys different ways how to catch them and different recipes. We go do jobs all the time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But we're... A YouTube channel? Yeah. But we're out here because we heard that there, there's tegus out here. What's that? A tegu is a different kind of lizard. It's like a... It looks like a monitor lizard, like a Komodo dragon. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Somebody sent me a video of them, of them out here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. You, you might. I mean, there's some big iguanas out here. There's some, some stuff, yeah. Yeah. There's some things out here. You never know, right? If, if these guys are walking around out here. Yeah, there's a bunch of them, too. But I haven't seen I haven't seen this one before. Yeah, this one is, this one is really big. All right, guys. You guys take care. Nice meeting y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was telling you, man. Do a um, quick little... Give yourself a shout out. Okay, okay. Um, I'll investigate that here in a little bit. Could be a massive iguana that probably somebody couldn't reel up. You never know. But let's let's go back in the nest, all right? We know they're nesting here. That's a fact. We've seen the alphas. We've seen some pregnant females. Where did those other ones go, though? There's the... Uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, wow, guys. They probably went up this tree. These are... Oh, my gosh. Wow. Look at this tree. They're probably hiding somewhere really high up there. But nonetheless, oh my goodness. Is that a, is that an iguana or is that a velociraptor? You see that head right there poking out? There's no way that's an iguana, that's too big, bro. There's no way. Guess there's only one way to find out. Let's go see if we can teach that velociraptor a fat lesson. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Not even afraid. We got him in the bag. Oh my gosh. There he is. There he is. There he is. Wow, he took off with a huge burst of speed. Don't want him going in that water. There he is. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's a scrapper, all right. You're a feisty boy, aren't you? He is a certified scrapper. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh no, he's not done. He's not done. Oh my gosh, he's charged up. That's why he's fighting like this. He's super warm and he's flared. He's super flared. You know how you could tell he's flared? Look at his mouth, look at his dewlap. It's fully extracted out. He is ready to teach me a fat lesson. But guess what? I don't think I'm gonna give him that chance, y'all. But he definitely did right here on my arm. Look at that, he got me in the death roll right there. Oh, all right, guys. Whew. Whew. Now I'm getting a little tired, y'all. That, that, dang, that scratch right there. Oh, dang, all right. Let's try to safely unsnare this iguana. He is nowhere ready to give up right now. There he is, and he's not happy. Okay. All right, y'all. Third iguana in the bag. We're gonna call this guy Raptor because he is just super feisty. He's got the temperament, he's got the look, and he's got the ferocity of a Velociraptor. Wow. Yo. Well, I think it's an iguana. I don't know if it's an iguana or a velociraptor. What do you think, bud? Dang. He's massive, ain't it? Check it out. He scratched 
the crap out of me. E you want him? You can have him. I think he might make a good pet, bro, honestly. Would you eat one or nah? I would eat one. You would? I seen it online. I heard they good. I ain't going For real? Who, who are you watching online? I don't remember, bro. What's his name? The Iguana Man? I think so, yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, that guy is, that guy is a trip, bro. <laughs> that guy is a trip. Are you the iguana man? <laughs> I don't know, am I? <laughs> Dude, you didn't subscribe though? Yes, I did. You did? Okay, okay, and you subscribed to, on all of them? All I'm of just them. kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he was, but he's tired now, because Reptiles, they're not like mammals. They can only exert a certain amount of energy at once, but it's a lot of energy. So he'll go crazy for the first 30, 40 seconds, and then he's just, then he's just like tired. He's just conserving his energy. But uh, you can see his stomach, like, like you can feel his stomach right here. He ain't gonna do nothing. Man. See how it's like all- Wow, I didn't know that was hard, bro. Yeah, he's all puffed out right now because he's, he's in a defensive uh, position. Bro, am I say, like, a Yeah, sure, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, we're doing removal out here, bro. And we heard that there's some... There's a lot out here, like, every morning. That is what's up, bro. That's a good dog. That's probably going to be my next thing is to get a dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he can could, he could help me. You know, I bring him out here, and he helps me teach these iguanas a fat lesson. Well, bro, nice meeting you, bro. bro. Oh, I pre well, appreciate it. Pre go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Take, take a picture, bro. In the sun. Let's see if we can get a portrait of you with him. Dude, that looks sick, bro. It looks like you have an all-white iguana, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, thank you, bro. No problem. Do you see that? Let me zoom in on it. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. Look right there. That, that's the head right there. All right, let's go get our catch ball. There's a tegu. That's the lizard. The reason why he left. Okay, well that's gonna wrap up the video. The good news is we caught a bunch of iguanas and we saw a tegu. The bad news is as soon as he seen us, he spooked. I didn't have my catch pole on hand. I was just prospecting the area. That's a good example of being unprepared at a very vulnerable time. Anyways, guys, we set a trap with some eggs. Hopefully he'll be in there soon. Till next time, keep on catching.